and then we can get to the bottom and stop. A couple of trainers along the way. Cycle is axle. Stolivia! Oh no, intimidate! My one weakness! So good thing intimidate only procs once. Imagine if that always perked on a switch and I would hate Incineroar a lot fucking more than Intimidate you, bitch! Fuck. <laughs> oh, you wanna play that game? <laughs> This is going to be cancer. I I told you this move is bullshit. Now we're gonna miss. I hate double so much. This is the best fucking dumb shit. It's the worst chant. Anyone who anyone who does this in competitive as a skillless degenerate. I can agree with you, but we're fighting the AI. Ah! Quick attack, bitch! <laughs> because it's a- You wanna party, motherfucker? <laughs> we'll party. Because it's a state, like... No. Because double team is two stages. Oh. After two double team. After one, your accuracy is 60, so because of that, I believe after two, your accuracy is 40. Meaning we got fucking lucky. Like, after one double team, and this is why double team is bullshit, a 100 accuracy move becomes 60. Let's just fight our way down the road. Chinks. Hey, it. That fucking attack drop. <laughs> Cost. Yeah, I was going to say the fact that it lived, but yeah, it. The minus one matter. Fight our way down the cycling road. Stop at the bottom. Cause that's where we need to go next time anyway. Mm -hmm. That's also near that other cave that also doubles up in the morning. That's <laughs> power punch. That's fine. Mac punch. I think these things can have flash fire, so don't click fire damage on them. Oh, I'm, I will murder everyone on this fuck path. Why? Ma'am? <laughs> I have to ask you, but why? Oh, Ma'am! Oh no, level 15, I think that's why. But why though? <laughs> I thought I didn't evolve, but. Crit yeah. again. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> Angry monkey. Yes. Actually. Yeah, let the shell fucking do something. <laughs> It'll be so useful once it evolves. Oh yeah, I know it will.
This will still hit like a fucking truck. <laughs> and I don't mind actually using a standard shell, it's because you've got a really good... Hey, Gaston will be amazing! Especially because we have recover and that move is basically never going to go away. <laughs> Basically. Stupid quick at that. That's fine. Flaming! In the manly way. You see, I'm like when I played this as a child, I actually think about stats and moves and abilities and items. That should be that move that breaks protect, right? But it's 30 power. God, that move is worthless. <laughs> this is one of the few times. Intimidate doesn't matter. Because I have only special attacks and I can eat a couple of hits. Especially if we get the Omni boost out of this. Shiakazing! Come on, Omni boost. That went well. Of course it did. Gastrodon is a really good Pokemon. Mm. We just have to go through the awkward stages of Shellos. No, no, you mean the awkward stages of Shellos without any good TMs. <laughs> go get them, soft and wet. <laughs> you see, it's funny, but... <laughs> which is also funny because ours is a dude. <laughs> that name still... Wasn't the stand user for that a dude? We're not getting my wires crossed. No. They're male. Okay. I, I thought so. <laughs> I, right. I, I could say the most out of context thing from Dijoland that I don't even fully understand. They're so male, they have four balls. <laughs> Damn it, Shinks! You are adorable, though. Damn it, Chinx. How can something that cute be intimidating? You say that, but I've always questioned for, for years, why does uh, Hip on top get intimidating? <laughs> Damn it. Have you seen yoga instructors? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, are, what are we gonna bust out the old Wii Fit trainer memes? Oh, I'm just gonna try something. Not the best, I know. That's fine. Oh, that means if it didn't have the... If you were intimidated, you would have actually killed. Stab? Emphasis on the stab. Right now, it's a bug poison type at the moment, so we actually have unusual bug stab. Oh, I made it to the end. We'll be solving soon. Oh, hey, Pikachu! Pika! <laughs> now it's a female Pikachu! Oh, duh, you encounter a female bike rider. 
Quick death? You have chosen death! Pikachu, P! Pikachu's defense is awful! And then this Pikachu comes at you with fucking nasty plot. What did that just be something? Imagine that it's like the Pikachu's faster than you and sets up nasty plot. Volt tackle! Pika! Because its HP is so low, that would do like half its health. Raspberries! Okay. Hold on. I'll plant a berry in a second. And yes, I'm planting the raspberries that we just pulled. Because we're always net gaining berries since it was two of plant, and that means I can net gain. Though if we do end up picking up berries that, um... If we do end up picking up berries that reduce, like, <laughs> damage of... Our team's weaknesses, try to prioritize those. Oh, the Versus Seeker. Don't you get the Versus Seeker no matter which one you pick? Yes. The Dolly Machine. Okay. We should probably stop, though. Hold on, I'm going to slide down a steep hill. Kids, don't try that at home. Unless you're a badass! Fuck you! <laughs> We're not responsible for any slide-related damages. Now stop before people have legal grounds to sue us. Okay, so before stopping, those dirt bike ramps... You can go up, but if you're on the slow gear, you can't. Mm. You need to be on the fast gear. Like that. As you can see. Before we stop, I want to work our way close to the um, cave entrance. Where the um, Cleffa are. It's just down the path. Man, Patch Racers and Hammer Knight goes off. Whoa. Patch Racer is defiant. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh no! Oh, I see we enabled the ROM hack. Holy shit, it lived. Holy shit, it lived! <laughs> Alright, go, Chief. Damn it! Fucking nozzle. Okay, so Mog punched the horse because it's faster. And I guess quick attack to hopefully be. Now. Can we break through the paralysis? And of course. I think I was for a double nozzle. I'm going. Oh, good. Oh, it is an angry hatchery, so yeah. You're already faster than that thing. You don't need to click mock punch. I mean, you're not wrong. Just styling on it. Stupid Pika Squirrel. We will stop in a minute. Seriously, but I'm trying to... Okay, there's the hiker, there was a couple of... There we go. Click on the van, oh yeah, I know. Oh, I'm gonna go hell. Then... Uh, 
I wanted to stop at the wanted to stop at the cave. There we go. There's a oh yeah yeah. Hiker, you can't go that one path, and then we can stop like right here. But this is a good. Chill, dude. I usually give Rose Raid some experience. Or the, um. <laughs> the show, was... They're both four times effective. Now, I swear to fucking explode. Oh, burn it! Hard, and that's, a, that's raising your physical defense. Not your special. I have Grass uh, Knot. Which one would. I think Magical Leaf would do more damage. <laughs> Who cares? They're all four times effective. And we are modest, bitch. <laughs> Bronzer? Well, shit. over in a somewhat decent time for the score Ruby, but I just want to... Oh! Score Ruby would deal neutral. It has bite, person. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing, though. Actually, considering that this thing has payback, slowly chipping it down like that is really uh, good. If that thing, like, even if it was resisted, if that thing... Oh, of course you snap out of... That's all and right. now it's going to return the favor. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Please, game, don't throw out Confuse Ray again. Take this, you jerk! Gen 8 rules, bitch! <laughs> yes! Is that. Back in, uh, Diamond... Back in Diamond and Pearl, uh... Bronzer and Bronzong were really good because they only had one weakness because their ability was Heat Proof or Levitate. Meaning it was... Okay, it's... The tithing is two weaknesses. Levitate is a full ground immunity. I and said they only had one weakness because of their abilities. No. Steel Psychic only had two weaknesses, but their ability would remove one. More in Levitate removing ground damage completely. Heat proof is a fire. It reduced it to by 50%, meaning it reduced it from super effective. But it's basically neutral, yes. And Versus that, taking zero ground damage. Yeah. What? Yeah, and that made those things really good. It's this cave. This is the... Okay, let's stop then. What? Oh, yeah. I can stop here. This is the same area! and It's the same, like, 25% bullshit. Hmm. We can stop, because I'm probably gonna, before sleeping, do some editing for this game. With all of... Oh, yeah! Bog halves would just... Wait... You can just do that? You're... God, that's great. Oh, we have... To... Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> we need... We need to mess with these. Uh-huh. Mm what? -hmm. Uh-huh. Because you can have so many. I, I mean, I have a couple of... Ball caps are one of my favorite just dumb things. Actually, for the fire type, if we just put all the... Oh, and you can... Oh, I... Play sticker select Pokemon. For the fire... Basically, when you throw out your Pokemon, they have... Dumb effects. 
So I was messing around with some of the effects to have on the different Pokemon before we you get bubbles based on what we have, like leaves. Yep. yep. You can also give the cherry blossom petals to the, the grass type. Some of those. Back when I was a child, that's the ball cap I put on the grass starter. Because, you know, it's a grass type, so I had it have flower petals. It made sense in my child brain. That's really hard. Do a really far separation here. Yeah. Leaves it the moment that makes sense. Just some. Do with some other ones as well. Okay. I love messing with those. Anyway. With that little distraction out of the way, this is a better stopping point because we're working on reaching Heart Home City like the game wanted. This is a good time to stop so I can do some editing and some other stuff. This has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Likely on my own time, I'm probably going to play the um, Pearl? I might take some fun screenshots, or if I want to, as kind of a weird bonus thing, just to do it, record, um, the, like, some of the important fights in Pearl showing some different Pokemon and just different ways to, like, steamroll through the gyms and stuff. Because that could be kind of amusing. Just, like, show some different, like, key fights. Like, all the... Essentially... Hold on. Let me explain this before I stop. Like, recording Pearl, but not a, like, full playthrough. But just, like, here's a Pearl run of, like, the Rock Gym. But because I have, like, a pimple up and I set up a little bit, that could sweep. Or here's like, you know, the per ugly using this thing or whatever. Or here's this. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Hey, if I'm gonna... I could probably, if I make the first part just like 20 minutes, I could actually set up the pearl and do that. Get some important footage of that. Anyway, I'm gonna stop for now. I can deal with the logistics behind that later. That just sounds kind of fun in my head. Hope you all enjoyed this set of videos. With that said, I do need to stop. So hopefully I will see you all next time. So anyway, I'm about to fade into the end slate. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. Adios for now. Bye. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic so anyway what do you all think of the reveal for pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet in my opinion they look nice however these games are said to be open world games and i have a massive problem with that, because I think open world games are fundamentally flawed and do not work out well, but I don't think the games look that bad. However, the community has decided that these are some of the worst games ever made because they were digging through the trailer and noticed a couple of small errors and also noticed that the frame rate in the trailer dropped off a little bit. Which is funny because during the reveal of X and Y, there were actually a few glitches in that trailer. And in the final game, those glitches did not exist. 
So I find it funny that people feel like they need to more or less dig through an entire trailer to find any microscopic little thing to create this narrative that Game Freak is now a soulless company and stopped caring about Pokemon and their fans, but I feel like you're all being petty and entitled, but now is not the time for that kind of rant. I just wanted to know your general opinions on the new Pokemon games. You can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments, or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links, as well as my Discord link, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shield for a minute if you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow, but... Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope I will see you all next time. So, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.